Well, the principles are, first of all, that the world is what you think it is, and that there are no limits. Energy flows where attention goes. Now is the moment of power. To love is to be happy with. All power comes from within. Your experience of the world is always going to be determined by your beliefs and your expectations and your uh, ideas and fears and desires. It's all going to be filtered through that. So it doesn't matter if there's an external world. Your personal experience is determined by what you think is going on. The beauty, though, is that it's possible to change it because we can change our thinking, and when we change our thinking and our behavior, then our experience changes. If you have a strong feeling about something or a lot of focus on something, why well, your energy will attract the energy of others to uh, go in that same direction with you. You can be drawn into someone else's strong energy too. Well, if someone else has a, let's say, a, a lot of charisma or a high focus. That happen, you happen to resonate with that, why well, you can uh, be drawn along in the same direction that they are. There is nothing else except now. We only have memories of the past and expectations of the future. Here's the only reality, what we're experiencing in this moment. The benefit there is that we're not burdened by things that happened in the past. We're burdened by our own interpretations and our, and our memories of them. Those memories exist in the present. We can change our relationship with those memories and be free from the effects. You cannot be burned by yesterday's sun and you cannot get wet from tomorrow's rain. Those things don't affect you right now, but the memory does. You're reacting to the memory, not the experience anymore. So you can change your relationship by changing your mind, changing your physical behavior in relation to that memory, changing your feelings, and when you can do that, then you're no longer burdened by that. It's simply because it becomes a memory that no longer affects you. To love is to be happy with. Now, to carry that further, it means to be happy with someone or something. This is the essence of love. It's a very clear, you know, when, when love is happening and when love is not happening, because when love is happening, there's always happiness involved. Whether you are giving it, sharing it, helping. Many people have great misunderstandings about love, thinking that it includes jealousy and anger and fear and all these kinds of things. They have, that has nothing to do with love. That has to do with jealousy and anger and fear. Love is the happy part of a relationship.